All right, at this time, uh, I actually want to open it up, not to our speakers yet. Do we have any candidate announcements that wish to be made at this time? All right, Francie Cleckley is going to come up and say a word. Just turn that microphone around so that the people can see you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, our candidate for State Senate District 10, Francie Cleckley. So much. Thank you so much. So I have yard signs in the back and I have t-shirts, bracelets, fans, you know, all the things that if you will take those and use them and wear them and put them out because uh, they're not going to get me elected sitting in my garage. So thank you so much. And I'm happy to chat with anyone when it's over. Thanks. Thank you, Francie. All right. We got Reverend Annette Edwards. You want to come up to the podium, ma'am? I'll extend that courtesy. You want to stay there at the floor? I'll stay right here. Okay. All right. Thank you. It is your privilege. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well and rested well last night. I am a candidate for Ward 3 Greenwood City Councilman. Yes. Well, that's exciting. This is uh, the first time you've announced in public? Yes, sir. No. I mean, Okay. Okay, well, 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 great. We look forward to getting the word out. As we know, our councilwoman, Betty Bowles, says, I'm done. I've put in my years. Uh, and so she deserves a, a retirement back to civilian life. Reverend Edwards is stepping up, longtime uh, resident of that district. It was Ward 5, or Ward 3. Ward 3, and so we will see your name on the ballot. That's exciting. So thank you for that. Do we have any other candidates for office who wish to say hi? All right, Mr. Ken Robinson, come on up. Ken is running for county council, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what the heck. Well, I'm not like them. I had to have a, a piece of paper. I'm running for District 4 county council. I got you right here. Now, I don't know much Greek, but one word I know is enthusiasm. The Greek word is entheos, which means God within. And you can look out here that we have enthusiasm. Now, one thing about it, there's not enough people here under the age of 50. That's something that we need to work on because they will vote and they will make a difference. They will make the difference this year. I'm going to say this, Bill, this won't take about three minutes and 72 seconds, something like that. This is my fourth, first time into politics. I found out that people are somewhat selfish. I don't know if you knew that or not. I'm running in District 4, County Council, that's from Durst Avenue and the bypass on one side and Maxwell Avenue on the other goes to the Abbeville County line and almost to Promised Land. This is the biggest probably and the wealthiest district. And it probably has the lowest percentage of minorities in it. Just want to tell you that. But you know, I, speaking of being people being selfish, I've been requested when I talked to people about me running, they wanted to tamper Pathway House. Now, Pathway House is a house that helps homeless people, give them 60 days in there. Someone said, well, why are we doing all this and releasing the people here in Greenwood? They want to help the homeless. Also, I've said, why do you want to get a recreation center, a public recreation center with a pool in Greenwood? Why do you want that? You see, so I'm just saying is that if I'm elected, I'll be for all the people. People in Gatewood, people in, uh, who are somewhere, around Lander. So, and that's not very popular, to be a candidate for all the people. I can talk loud, this microphone is. All right, so, but, you know, it's, it's just, but then on the bright side, I found that most people are decent on an individual basis. I've talked to people who are Trump supporters. They may be for them, but if you talk to people on an individual basis, most people are basically nice, or somewhat nice. <laughs> somewhat. But here's something I found about voting and about life. They will vote for you if they like you and trust you. Now, I have an advantage over most people. Is I've been in Greenwood for over 40 years, and I know a lot of people, most of them know me. Now, if you're running for a state office, people don't know you. But in Greenwood, they know me. So my mother said, your name goes before you. So I hadn't 
done anything that was too bad that anybody found out about. All right, now, and lastly, I'm headed to Chicago also. I'm not going as a delegate, but I am going as a transportation specialist. Don't clap on that. All that is, I'm going to be driving people back and forth to the airport and things of that nature. But I just wanted to be in the number. This is exciting. My, I'm just about ready to end, Bill. My dad would have me up in North Carolina 12 o'clock at night watching the news in 60 Minutes and these conventions. And I remember 1968 in Chicago when Richard Nixon was there. I remember when Bobby Kennedy got killed. I remember all this stuff. So he sent me but it's come out at age 68. But I'm in a hurry because Nikki Haley said I don't have but seven more years to go. She said, at 75, you're washed up. That's what she said. I beg to differ. Listen, I just want to thank, thank all of you. Now, I have some cards in my car, and I was sitting in, Miss uh, Edwards, you would appreciate this. I was sitting in bed one morning, and the Lord spoke to me. I have some cards made up. Got a picture from 50 years ago and one now. But then it said, writing in Spanish on the other side. And you will be surprised at the amount of attention that the Hispanic community gives because they are so disillusioned and they receive prejudice from us people as color. So for someone to take time for them, they'll listen. That's, gonna, that's a huge voting block and we ignore. Listen, my time is up and thank you so much. Wow, that is absolutely wonderful, Ken. Thank you. Oh, we have another speaker. How exciting. Just push that clip, and then that'll lift the, uh, yeah, just push that. There you go. Fancy. Um, hello, everybody. I'm Matthew Miller. I've uh, been on city council for two terms now and filed yesterday uh, to run for a third term this year. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, city council ward five. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I've appreciated the support that the Democratic Party and that uh, members of the party here in Greenwood have given me uh, over the last eight years, and uh, hopefully appreciate your support this year. Nobody else has filed for my seat yet, and after, if you know the issues I dealt with last time, I would be fine if nobody else <laughs> if nobody else jumped in this time. But um, you know, I appreciate also uh, Ms. Edwards and others that uh, are jumping in um, in Ms. Bull's retirement. Um, it's always great to see people that are interested in getting involved in local politics um, and the people that are here, you know, in Greenwood uh, and and are you know front line with with people. You know, you may not get be able to get much done in Washington or Columbia um, with your politicians, but you can call me up on the phone and you know get something done in Greenwood. So uh, that being said, I, I'd appreciate your support. Uh, this this election cycle. Uh, if you have any questions about Greenwood, just let me know. Thank you, Matthew. Oh, we have one more speaker, and this is my dear friend. Please introduce yourself and where you're from. My name is Jessica Spearman Childs. I am running for Anderson State Senate District 3. Um, I'm joining you guys from Anderson this morning. I love seeing so many of you here. Um, Bill and Jamil have supported me 110%. And, you know, we did a podcast episode with them right before my husband passed away. So I now get to hear my husband's voice almost every night. I listen to it all the time. Bill doesn't know. I can almost imitate Bill word for word at this point. Um, but I am so grateful to be here and to see all this. Um, I do have four kids. My oldest one is going to be going to USC in two weeks for political science. So we do have our children watching us. This is my second child. I was a foster mom. So my oldest child has already um, majored in political science. And now my oldest foster child and now my oldest child is in political science. So I am just happy to be here and be surrounded by so many supportive people. Thank you. Oh, that does my heart good. This is what it's all about. A lot of different faces, a lot of different experiences, running for lots of different positions. This is democracy.